Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create chatbot using Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI. So I am an owner of a business and I want to create a WhatsApp Cloud API chatbot using Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI so that if any of my employees are going to ask any question to my chatbot automatically to them with the help of Google Generative AI, an answer of that question should be forwarded on their WhatsApp. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create this amazing automation using Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to create chatbot using Pabli connect and google generative ai so i am an owner of a business and i want to create a chatbot using google generative ai and Pabli connect and we are going to be creating whatsapp chatbot so that if any of my employees are going to ask any questions to my chatbot automatically with the help of google generative ai my whatsapp chatbot should reply to that question okay for that what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation by using Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I am an existing user I am going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the All Pabli Apps window in front of you in which you can see the 5 applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Create Chatbot using Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI. So this is my name of the workflow. Next over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my public Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders that I've created in my public Connect account from which I'm going to select chatbot automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Create Chatbot using Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says Trigger, other says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow right over here. Here. And as my objective is that, that as soon as any of my employer going to ask the question to my WhatsApp chatbot, then automatically chatbot should generate the answer of that question with the help of Google Generative AI. So firstly, for the trigger application, we are going to select it as WhatsApp Cloud API. And for the trigger event, we are going to select it as message notification. As our objective is that whenever any of my employer are going to ask any question to my chatbot, automatically my chatbot should reply to that question that my employee has asked, okay? So this is my WhatsApp Cloud API chatbot right over here, okay? So what we are looking for that whenever a new question is going to be asked by any of my employee to my WhatsApp Cloud API bot, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response of that question, that message notification. So what we are going to do is we are going to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API bot with Pabli Connect with the help of this unique webhook URL. If you want to learn how to connect WhatsApp Cloud API bot to Pabli Connect, you to click on this hyperlink right over here. As you're going to do that over here, you will be forwarded towards this page right over here. We're going to scroll down. Firstly, you are going to learn how you can complete WhatsApp Cloud API setup in Pabli Connect by watching the tutorial videos that are right over here. Firstly, you need to set up the WhatsApp Cloud API setup inside Pabli Connect, okay? So do not forget to do that. Watch this tutorial right over here, but click on this hyperlink, okay? After that, we are going to connect the bot that we have created with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. And to create the bot, watch this tutorial right over here, okay? And after when we have created the bot, we have to connect the bot to Pabli Connect, okay? Firstly, it says that we have to copy this unique URL from here okay so we're going to copy this unique url with the help of this url we're going to connect the bot that we have created with the help of whatsapp cloud api with Pabli connect okay after creating the bot and copying this url from here we have to open our configuration page of our bot that we have created right over here so this is my configuration page right over here 
and over here it says call back url as you can see right over here we have to click on edit right over here for the call back url we're going to paste the url that public connect has provided us next over here it is asking for the verify token for the verify token in the help desk you can see it verify token is provided to us we're going to copy this token from here paste this token right over here and we're going to click on verify and save right over here as you can see that over here the callback url successfully added right away so now as the callback url is added over here it says webhook fields we're going to click on manage right over here okay and over here in the manage if you go to scroll down over here it says messages we're going to click on the subscribe box right over here okay and as we just want that in this webbox we want to capture the response of the messages that are been forwarded to our bot that is why i've selected messages over here and i've subscribed this webbox that is messages right over here okay then i'm going to click on done right over here and over here the message field is selected in our webbook fields right over here okay after doing that what we are going to do is we are going to send a message to our bot that we have created with the help of whatsapp cloud api and we're going to check whether public connect captures the response of that message that we have forwarded to our bot or not for that i'm going to send a message a question to this bot that i've created right over here so the question that i want to ask is so this is the question that i want to ask what is public connect i'm going to send this question right over here as you can see that over here the question is successfully forwarded to my bot that i've created with the help of whatsapp cloud api so now i'm going to open my workflow that i've created with the help of public connect and i'm going to check whether public connect has captured the response of this question that we have forwarded to this bot or not for that i'm going to open my public connect workflow i'm going to scroll down and yes as you can see right over here response is captured in our public connect and for the message over here it says what is public connect right over here this is the question that we have forwarded on our whatsapp so this means that we successfully connected whatsapp cloud api to public connect and our trigger setup is done so that whenever a new message is going to be forwarded to our bot now automatically public connect is going to capture the response okay so as now the question is captured by public connect we want to generate the content of that question with the help of google generative ai so what we are going to do is we're going to add our action step and for the action application over here we're going to select it as google generative ai that is google gemini so i'm going to select my action application as google generative ai and for the action it has generate content as you want to generate the content of the question that is asked by our employee and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect google generative ai to public connect Connect. and then over here a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection as soon as you to click on add new connection over here it is asking for the api key with the help of the api key we're going to connect google generative ai to public connect and how we're going to have the access of the api key for that click on this hyperlink google ai studio right over here then a new window is going to appear over here it says get api key we're going to click on it over here the api keys page is going to next appear okay over here it says create api key we're going to click on it for the project i'm going to select a project right over here then i'm going to click on create api key as the api key is successfully created i'm going to copy this key from here and i'm going to paste the key right over here and i'm going to click on save as you can see that google generative ai now successfully connected to public connect over here it is asking for the prompt the text for which we want to generate the content about for the text over here for the prompt i'm going to write over here as so this is the prompt that i've written right over here i am an owner of a business and i'm creating a whatsapp chatbot i want to generate replies to the questions that my employees will ask to the chatbot so please generate a reply to the question for the question over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how it is going to work as soon as you to click on this field right over here you can see where it says whatsapp cloud api message notification this was the previous step of this workflow okay if i'm going to click on this arrow right over here this was the response that was captured in our previous step so what we are going to do is this is the response out of which over here you can see this was the text that our employers forwarded that is what is public connect so i'm going to select this question right over here as i've selected the data right over here this data is now mapped and as we have mapped the data what happens is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatic in place of this map data the new data is going to be updated okay so it says in small paragraph as we want the reply to this question right over here in small paragraphs okay for the models over here we are going to select it as gemini pro this is right over here i'm going to select it and for the methods as generate content as we want to generate the content of this text right over here and then we are going to click on save and send test request 
as we have clicked on save and send test request over here response is received and in the response over here you can see the content is generated and this is the answer to the question what is Pabli Connect? Pabli Connect is an all-in-one automation platform that allows you to connect your favorite apps and automate your workflows. With Pabli Connect you will easily integrate your CRM, email marketing, SMS marketing and other business tools to streamline your operations and save time. Pabli Connect is a perfect solution of your businesses of all sizes who are looking to automate their workflows and improve their efficiency. So this is the content that is generated with the help of Google Generative AI. That means you successfully generate the content to the question that our employee has asked. Now as the content is generated, we want to forward this answer to our employee with the help of chatbot. So what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in this workflow by clicking on this plus button right over here. And for the action application, again we are going to select it as WhatsApp Cloud API. So I am going to select my action application as WhatsApp Cloud API. And for the action event as send text message as we want to reply to the question that our employee has asked okay so then we're going to click on connect in order to connect whatsapp cloud api with public connect after that a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection okay after click on add new connection over here it is asking for the token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id if you're going to click on this hyperlink right over here you are going to be forwarded to this page right over here over here you can see how to set up whatsapp cloud api inside public connect by watching this tutorial you're going to have the information that public connect is asking for in order to connect whatsapp cloud api with public connect okay so as it is asking for the token phone number and a whatsapp business account id and i have already created the api setup so i'm going to open my setup right over here so this is the api setup right over here it over here says the token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id so i'm going to copy this token from here and i'm going to paste the token right over here for the phone number id i'm going to copy this phone number id from here and i'm going to paste it right over here and lastly for the whatsapp business account id copy the whatsapp business account id from here and i'm going to paste it right over here and i'm going to click on save as you can see that WhatsApp Cloud API is now successfully connected to Pabli Connect. After connecting over here, it is asking for the recipient mobile number. On which mobile number do we want to send a message to? For the recipient mobile number, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data of the mobile number that we have received in our previous step. As over here, it is asking for the phone number. So I'm going to map the data of the phone number right over here. So this is the contact that has sent the message. So I'm going to map the data of this number right over here. Okay. Next over here it is asking for the message, the message that we want to reply to our question that our employee has asked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data of the content that Google Generative AI has generated. Okay. And after that, we're going to click on save and send test request. As you can see over here, response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to check whether the WhatsApp chatbot is fully created or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, as you can see right over here, the reply is forwarded to the question that my employer has asked. That is what is public in it. And this is the reply that WhatsApp Cloud API chatbot has replied to this question. Okay, so as this means that we fully created a chatbot with the help of Google Generative AI and public connect. But now for all of you guys, I'm going to ask another question to this bot right over here and I'm going to check whether the bot replies to this question successfully or not. So the question that I want to ask is, the question is what are the top 5 features of Pabli Connect? I'm going to send this question right over here and in few seconds you can see the reply is going to be forwarded by this bot right over here to this question and the reply is top 5 features of Pabli Connect and these are the 5 features that this bot has given the answer to this question right over here in front of you. So this means that we successfully created a chat bot using Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI. So now to sum up till now what we have done in this video we are learning how can we create chatbot whatsapp cloud api chatbot using public connect and google generative ai and this is how we create this amazing chatbot using public connect so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of public connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.